whole idea of the initial terrorist attacks on October the 7th was to provoke Israelis so much that they would simply have to retaliate and send a significant force into Gaza. Uh, and this was, and I'm sure the Israelis understood this from the outset, uh, intended to be a trap. Uh, and once Israel is entirely committed uh, to this Gaza operation, then other fronts open up. There's a good deal of unrest uh, and violence in the West Bank already. The risk is that Hezbollah escalates uh, with a yeah. large-scale bombardment uh, from Lebanon. Uh, there are uh, forces mustering in Syria. Uh, Israel could soon find itself fighting a war on multiple fronts, and the Israeli defense forces could be very, very stretched indeed. The problem in the West, uh, and here I'll have to draw some distinctions because there's no uniform story yeah. here, but the problem broadly is that within a very, very short space of time, the shock that I think responsible people felt, the horror that we felt at the initial terrorist uh, attacks, has given way to a very carefully organized wave of protest uh, in support of the Palestinians. Uh, and this wave of protest has been seen as far afield as uh, Sydney, uh, London and the campuses of elite universities, uh, including Stanford, where I'm based. Uh, now, this is remarkable, for example, to see 2,000 sociologists put their names to a, a petition uh, in solidarity with the Palestinian people against the so-called settler colonialism of Israel is astounding, because where were these 2,000 sociologists in the 24 hours after October the 7th, where was their statement of solidarity with the people of Israel who had been the victims of a horrendous terrorist atrocity, a kind of trailer for a second Holocaust? They were conspicuously silent. And that's the most shocking thing, it seems to me, about parts of Western society today, that there are people who feel extraordinary indignation on behalf of the Palestinian people, but apparently no indignation on behalf of the, the Jewish people, the Israelis, who were initially attacked. I also find it extraordinary the moral equivalence that people suggest between terrorists murdering innocent women, children, babies, putting babies in ovens for heaven's sake, and the Israeli Defense Forces retaliating uh, in a way to, to target the perpetrators, going out of their way to minimize civilian casualties. Hamas doesn't care about the people of Palestine. It doesn't care at all. Hamas actually has built these tunnels not as shelters, but exclusively for its own military use. And when a leader of Hamas was asked about this, his response was, well, the, the tunnels are for us. It's the problem of the UN to look after the Palestinian people. This level of hypocrisy ought to make any reasonable person in a democratic society outraged. But instead, we have so many useful idiots uh, in academia, uh, as well as on the left of the political spectrum, who take up the cause of the Palestinians and apparently feel no sympathy, no empathy for the sufferings of the Israelis who were the initial victims of this upsurge in violence. I find that outrageous and disgraceful.